Hi everyone, welcome to Curry's House. Today we've got my one month review of the CX242 shoe by Lake. Hello everyone and welcome to this review. I posted my original unboxing on the 2nd of July 23. It's now, as I'm filming this, the 18th of August 23. Um, a few people have been asking for my thoughts on them after using them. So here it is. Um, as you know, I moved from a size 44 Bont Riot Road Plus to a size 43 Lake CX242 in a wide fit. They're the best shoe I've ever worn. And I'm just gonna tell you why now. They're wide enough, okay? And they're the right length. Before I was too narrow and too long. The bits you feel when you first put them on, this bit here. Probably for the first three rides, I was like, oh, this is gonna annoy me so much because I can feel this ridge where like the leather is and then the sponge is. I can feel it on my toe when I raise my big toe up and down, but I don't actually feel that anymore. Probably because I don't raise my toe up and down. Boas are really cool. What I tend to do is tighten the back one up, snug, and I just cinch up the front just so it's resting around my foot. I don't actually tighten that one up a lot. I did start with it um, not done up at all. Yeah, once you've molded the heel cup, which is right by my thumb, it's actually really, really tight. Keeps your foot nice and secure. I was getting on the bunts on the left side, as um, if you look at my why I'm switching to lake video, I was getting numb toes down on this side of the left foot, this side of the right foot, but not so much. Um, insoles. I'm actually using these. The body geometry green. Um, these are the insoles that came out of my bunt shoes and there's something that's quite interesting. If you look at the white patches, where my feet were going numb was where I was putting the most pressure through the shoe. I mean there's some pretty bad dents in there but it's very interesting that the most wear is on the side of my foot that doesn't touch, <laughs> hardly touches the ground when I'm walking. I tend to walk through my first two toes. I did try the standard lake insole and I found that they give you a lot of support on the inside through here, but I didn't really get on with those. So I, I thought it was the green insoles that were giving me problems. They were too um, high, like it was squashing my foot too much. So I went to blue insoles and it was worse to be fair. Just getting numb foot still on the left. Even in these, it was a little bit numb and I'm gonna tell you why and how I've sorted that out. So I went back to green, stuck these in and it was better, but still getting problems on this side. And the way I've sorted it is probably a bit weird. I remember having a um, bike fit at the local bike shop. I had an electronic fit, a retal fit, I think it's called or retal, and I've got a issue on this foot where my foot leans this way, naturally. So I'm quite heavy on the inside of my foot and these three toes don't do anything, they just flap in the air when I'm standing on the ground. So what I've done is I've put a shim underneath my cleat, there it is there, just there, that black bit there, that's the and this black thing here is a shim so it's one and a half mil so I've put it tilting my foot the wrong way technically so it tilts my cleat inwards like that and that gives my three toes something to rest on inside the shoe because it's tilted over and now it's perfect there's no numbness at all it's um quite weird. Cleat wise position, I did start right back and that was a nightmare. And then I've just crept it forward and I think we're on mark five now on both feet. This seems to work for me, having um, it on number five on both. So 
that is the update. These are the best shoes I think I can honestly say I've ever worn. They are amazing. They're just amazing. And the Boas are fantastic. Um, they open up really wide, extra super wide. You can get your foot in there. Um, these bits flap around, they mold to your foot. It's nice and soft, the tongue. With these green insoles, they're just the perfect fit for me. Once I do them up, is going to be where I'm going to leave it. My Stormtrooper shoes, as I call them. So, that's it. Go and buy some now. Um, and I can't recommend them highly enough. They are fantastic. So we'll see you uh, next time. Please like, subscribe and share. That would be brilliant. It's absolutely free to subscribe. And we'll see you on the next Kairos House. Take care, bye.